Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are working on the Kinos Ratonga racial quest line. Uh, I, I had to just start the episode here because of this really unusual mount that this person Ursulina has. I, <laughs> I saw that and I thought well I, I have not seen that before. So, uh, congrats, Ursulina, on an unusual mount. This is Murphy. Murphy is a conjurer, and this is his buddy, Rocky, who's going to help him out today. Now, I stress the fact that this is the Kinos Ratonga, because for many, many years, the Ratonga was considered Freeport only. And uh, over time and various updates, they added the ability for the Ratonga to be a neutral race, whereas uh, you could start in Kinos if you'd like. So that meant they needed to come up with a new racial quest line. The two Ratonga quest lines are very different, and the rings are very different. So we will be doing both of them. For today, it'll be Kinos. Next episode, it will be Freeport. I know that's a lot of Ratonga, but for the ones that are this different, I feel it's important to share both. Let's go ahead and get started. We need to go to North Kinos. So we are going to hop over there. I highly recommend you be at least level 10. Uh, most of the quest line is not instanced and you are sent to various places to fight mobs that are level 10, some of them even heroics. We need to come over where the tinkering area is and our mentor is right near there. Here she is. And her name is Tilla. Hello, Tilla. Hi there! Are, are you new to the city? I, I guess it doesn't matter. I have not met you, so you is new to me. I'm Tilla. Hello, Tilla. It's good to meet you. I am Murphy. Oh, you're brave to come here. We's not welcomed by the citizens here quite yet. Kinos, for all of its glories, is not as kind as it could be. Histories might be repeating itself. Oh, I see. Well, we need to do something about this. The citizens need to understand our intentions here are sincere. Yes, yes, yes. So many of us wants to live here, but our mischievous natures work against us sometimes, I think. Why is that? Well, I hear stories about other Ratongas doing things, bad things, which make others of us look bad. I hear stories about things being stolen and foods poisoned, people being attacked in the shadows. They blame us. But what can we do? Well, we can find out who's doing it. That's what we do. Yes, you have a good idea. Here, I'll mark your maps with the trouble spots. See if you can find out what's happening theirs, and hopefully you can clear our names. Okay, well, at least I can find out what's going on. Um, I'll come back once i finished. Okay. So our first quest is <laughs> if it walks like a rat. Now we need to look around this north uh, Kinos area and, and look for stolen goods, poisoned food, and... Uh, investigate the attacks on the citizens. If you open the map, you can see there's a wide area. Uh, now, over here right away, we see something is amiss. So we are going to collect that. And, oh, these must be the Ratongas that are attacking everybody. So that's all that's there. What we're going to do is we're going to look 
Let's look over here. See if there's anything around this building. Oh! Got some stolen goods. You just never know. Uh-oh. That means there's something here. <laughs> More stolen goods. Okay, we might as well run along the aqueduct here and see if there's anything else. Perhaps, uh, look up at the iron forge up there. Could be anywhere along here also. Oh, there. There is an inn. We, uh, did we run around? Yeah, we did. Let's look over here by this guild. There's one. Okay, so we just need one more. See if that, yeah, there's another one over here. Unfortunately, the evidence I found wasn't too helpful. All right, Tilla, I'm back. Well, Matt. <laughs> what did you find out? Well, <laughs> wish I had good news, but. It seems that there are Ratonga responsible for the misdeeds in the city. They were downright aggressive. Oh, no! I was afraid of this. Some of us can't overcome our mischievous natures. Well, I'm afraid it's more than that. These attackers are malicious. I don't know if it's an attempt to undermine our ability to settle here or simply a group of mean-spirited Ratongas, but this isn't going to look good for any of us. You were right. I don't understand, though. We've always helped Kinos, even if they did not know it. What? How's that? Tell me, what do you know about our histories? I know a bit. I know that we fled the Underfoot, looking for a haven from the Rokalik and their dark agenda took up residence in Freeport. Yes, Freeport was our homes. But why did we choose Freeport? Do you know? From what we've been told, the city fit us well. We could find scraps of food, steal, hide in the shadows, and scrape together a living, and not be too different from much of the population there. Oh, I wonder about that. How did we know about Freeport? How did we know it would fit us? And why not Kinos? Well, you think there's more to this? I mean, I never really thought about it much. Yes, I do. 
and there's whispers that say there's more, that we Ratonga also attempted to enter Kinos. If this is true, then there must be record of it, probably hidden in a library. Indeed, well, that would be quite a find. Do you want me to head on over there and see if I can find it? Oh, that would be great. Yes, you should speak with one of the librarians there. See if maybe they can point you where it might be. Okay, I'll be back. Now we got to run over to South Kinos and go to the library. All right. I'm confident that the merchants of our... The library doesn't like us in here. They're always telling us to be quiet. Please, be quiet when See? inside this place. All right, there's a librarian. Hello. Well met. And this one goes on the lower platform. And oh, oh, great. This one isn't even marked. How do they expect me to do this? I'm sorry. What is it you're up to? I, I'm attempting to organize these book stacks. Apparently, that's my job. Oh, well, that's a good job. I I've had a passion for books all my life, so as soon as I moved here, I asked to work within the library. They accepted, but immediately put me on this detail. Finding all these loose books and putting them back where they belong never ends. Oh, why's that? Because these mages who study here evidently don't believe it's their duty to return what they take out. And they call us the messy ones. Yeah, I think you might have some information that I need. Do you have a minute? Sure. It's not like these are going anywhere. What you need? Well, do you know anything about manuscripts or books written by Ratonga here? The, the books would be very old. Ratonga manuals in here? I don't think so. I know some books here are written by Ratonga who've defected to Kinos, but there's nothing older than a few decades. Why would you ask? Well, I'm following up on a lead. Uh, there's rumors that we Ratonga have lived and supported the city for much longer than it's being told to us. We were hoping there might be some evidence. Hmm, I don't know. I've never seen anything like that up here. I wonder if it would even be here. I have to say, I haven't exactly felt welcome. But I wonder. Oh, tell me. What's your thought? You know, I heard rumors, stories of people living under the city. If our ancestors were indeed living here in the past, I wager that's where they would have taken up residence. And if they lived there, they would have had a home. If you're going to find anything about them, you'll need to find those places. Oh, well, that seems simple enough. Just search through all the catacombs, then. Well, I didn't say it would be easy. But those stories must have come from somewhere, which means there might be writings about the libraries, or, or better yet, a map. Search the down below and see what you can find. Ooh, down there where the blood savers are? Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh boy, we get to go down in the sewers. Please, be quiet when inside this place. All right, so. All right, here we are in the down below. Now the easiest way to find it, it happens to be up here. And there's a blood saver adjunct there. He's a, a, a level 10 grouped with two level 10 initiates. But there are heroics around here, or there can be. Uh, so we are going to make our way and get a hold of this map that happens to be down here. They discovered us! Attack! Attack! We 
we're just gonna clear all this out. How did they find us? We cannot defeat them! Runs away! They Fools! How did they find us? us? A crumpled scroll. Not quite sure that's not the map we're looking for. The map we want's down here. On this table. And we need to now follow the path to the hidden library. not able to get the book, but I did get some more information. So we need to go in here. Here we are in the Library of the Thiel. We need to defeat seven bloodsabers, defeat Sis the book mongrel, and search the library for book of interest. So let's get started. Okay, there is the named over there. Are these guys first? And in the corner is our interesting book, a tooth marked book. Okay, we have to go back to Tilla now. Hello! What did she find? Well, I think I have what we need. I found this in a hidden library under the city. And it looks like it might have information in it you were looking for. Oh, thank you. Can I see it? Certainly. Here. Did you look through this? Did you see what it says? Well, I just thumbed through it. I didn't really have a lot of time to read it, but uh, maybe you could fill me in. Well, it talks about the Tonga's first meetings with the Kinos officials about how they were thrown out of the city, but there's more. Oh? What are you seeing in there? Can I see it? Well, just a minute. I'm looking at it. Now, where was, was I? Oh, yes. Hmm. It seems that this Ritonga Vathil and those like him stay in the city, even though they were not welcomes. Really? What for? Hmm, it looks like they felt comfortables here. They felt a kinship with the people of Kinos, even if the people didn't accept them. It seems that they did works for the city, even if the city did not knows it. 
what do they do? Well, aside from collecting knowledges, it seems they acted as lookouts for Kinos and helped them during the rebuilding of the city. I wonder why that's never talked about. Well, there has to be some evidence of this besides that book. Something we can find? Hmm, you might be right. If we acted as scouts, there may be evidences out there. Do you think she can find it? Well, maybe. I'm not much of an archaeologist, but I'll, I'll search in the fields and see what I can find. All right, so now we have to go out to Antonica and look for evidence about Ratonga scouts. If you check the map, you can see there's spots highlighted kind of all over the place. So you want to look around the towers and such. And of course there can be gnolls out here and other bad guys that won't be friendly. So what you're looking for are these little mounds here. And sometimes there's more than one. Okay, I'm going to go over to that tower over here. Here. Okay, let's see if there's another one up here. No, it doesn't appear to be. It says there can be one anywhere in this area. Up here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to, but if we come up here by this uh, flight post, we might see some up there. Looks like there might even be some anywhere up top, not going to be down here. There can be some very, very high-level lizards sitting right up here. Well, high-level to me. So we have to be careful. <laughs> uh, yeah, like right there, level 16, thicket lizard. Not going to be good to run into that. Uh, there happens to be something up on that rock, though. So we're going to come over here, try to... Avoid. Mr. Lizard. All right, we need one more. Um, I think what we're going to do, there's one right there on the rock. Perfect. Okay, back to Tilla. I'm back, Tilla. Well, met. What'd you find? Well, there's a lot of uh, equipment piles that were buried with Ratonga skeletons. It looks like a lot of them died protecting the city. Oh, that's the funny thing. Many other races looks at us like we are cowards, but they do not know us. We are survivalists for sure, but we understand giving to the greater good more so than many other races do. Well, imagine how opinions might change if we revealed this to the citizens. It's a tricksy thing. We helps in the shadows where many people do not look. This evidence is good, but it's going to be a hard sell. We need something else. I think I have an idea. Oh, what are you planning? Do you know about the problems in the Bobbleshire? Uh, what the gnomes and the halflings are facing there? 
Yeah, a little bit. I, I do know teleporters and demons and things. So, what's your thoughts? Well, I heard I heard that some strange creatures invade and there. Um, the halflings have been trying to protect their homes and the gnomes are assistants them, but they've run into problems. Do you know what those problems are? Knows. I don't know exactly. But I knows who yous can talk to. Meet with Blint Tizzlespring in Bobbleshire. I spoke with him not too long ago, but he did not have times to talk. Whatever's going on requires his attention. All right, I'll check in with him. And this is going to be our ring quest. So we need to get over to the Bobbleshire. The quickest way to get there from here is going to be the uh, travel bill. I'm going to have every race involved in this stuff. <laughs> That's okay. Don't mind helping out. All right, we need to talk to Blint. He's right around the corner here, it would seem. There he is. Hello, Blint. Do you have a minute? Hey there. Come on, you darn thing. Work. Uh, Tilla said I should come and speak with you. Oh, don't have the time right now. See those things out there? They're looking to put anything in, in and that's the size of you or me in their mouth. I'm just trying to make something less digestible for them to chew on. Oh, these clockworks, I see. What what seems to be the issue? Yeah, I'd explain it, but I doubt you'd know much about the inner workings of these things. It's very advanced, you see. You need years of training just to decipher how it's wired together. Well, we don't have years, sir. What about a crash course? I'd give you some studies to read, but they're all out there with those things. I don't think you're going to get a lesson today. Oh, well, we'll see about that. All right, so we need to look for these study diagrams. Uh, you want to come in this first building. And you can pick up one in here. We need three of them. There's one laying out in the open, which means we're most likely going to have to fight, and it's right there. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that's one way to get his attention in it. <laughs> Splashing in the water. Okay, let's pick up this one. Now we want to go in this building. Which again is going to be a fight fest. That wasn't too bad, but there might be some mobs inside. Yep. Oh dear. Rocky left me in here all by myself with this big brute. Hopefully I can do okay. Oh! Pulled him out! Nice! He got, he got pretty damaged. Nice, we got an upgrade. Oh no, who are you fighting now? Rocky? Oh no, I'm gonna grab this. I need to go help him out. He's gonna be dead and that means I'm gonna be dead. Oh, you got him? Oh, fantastic. Okay, we need to get over back to Blint. Easier said than done. <laughs> I think we can get up here. Yeah. All right, Blint. I was able to get some materials. Well met. Huh. This should work. Wait. No. This should work. 
Hang on. Oh, it's you. Sorry. I still don't have time. Well, fine. Why don't you let me take a look at that thing? No, you're just going to get yourself hurt. These things are very complex. It's like I said, you can't hope to understand. I beg to differ. Stand back. My mind is like a sponge. Yep, see? Now don't let your ego get involved here. We have to focus on the task at hand. Hey there! What did you do? Well, I fixed it. How'd you learn to do that? Took me years of training. Well, your study materials were very helpful. I had to learn and learn quickly, so I did. Well, I saw and I can get the rest of these things going. You learned that in the scant short time you were gone? My sister was right about Ratonga. Your sister? Aye, she's one of the directors of the Scholars of the Lost Expedition in the Moors of the Akesha. She said that Ratonga showed up shortly after they began their digs and immediately began to contribute to the efforts. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Well, that's the thing. Not many folks did. But she said that without the ingenuity of the Ratonga, a lot of what they accomplished in the expedition wouldn't have been possible. Their ability to absorb and process information surprised even her. And she's a gnome. From now on, I know I want a Ratonga by my side in a pinch. Do you think you can stay? Well, actually, I need to let Tilla know what happened here and see if anyone else needs my help. Understood. All right. Best of luck. And you, Blint. Okay, well, that worked out quite well. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Hi there! So what happened? Well, it seems like I was able to help Blint get his clockwork started. Apparently, he wants to use them to fight the Nightblood there and was having trouble figuring it out. With a little study, I helped him along. Oh, good, good. That's good to know. Perhaps with his endorsement, we can take these notes you found to the people and shows them we mean only to help and be a part of the city. Was that an earthquake we just had there? <laughs> that was interesting. So should we go to the council and ask for what the, what was that? I don't know. The whole ground shook though. Wait, look, the Concordium Tower. It's smoking. It is? It looks like something happened. Oh, I'll bet that librarian I spoke to earlier knows what happened. I'll go. Oh my goodness, I know I was not uh, imagining things. I don't see any smoke from here, though, but let's, uh, let's get on over and speak with the librarian. Please, be quiet when inside this place. Sippin, are you okay? There's smoke coming from the building. Well met! This is not the time to be visiting the library. Well, I can see that. What happened? I only caught the end of it, but I saw an erudite walk in here and accuse the Concordium of hiding true power. She turned on a couple of the junior instructors and unleashed a series of spells on them. Necromancy, I think it was. Oh dear, necromancy? Well, she needs to be stopped. The guard is on their way. We just have to stay away. Not a chance. If we let her wreak havoc up there, who knows what might happen. I'm going to end this. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, there she is, right there. Okay, then.
Well, she was easy to take down, at least. All right, Sippin, I took care of her. Well, Mix! What happened? Well, the neck rose down, and the tower should be safe now. Where would she have trained, though? Was she from Freeport? Oh, I couldn't say, but wait. You know, I might have an idea. Oh? What is it? Well, there's whispers that some of the erudites in Starcrest Commune have been practicing the dark art of necromancy. That a new teacher has come from Peniel preaching the virtues of that forbidden school. Oh, it's unnerving to think that anyone would practice necromancy here. Indeed. And what just happened is something we may see more often if they're not stopped. This dark knowledge cannot be allowed to take root here. I agree. There has to be a way we can help. Well, what are you planning to do? I think we can let the guard handle any more incidents like this one. However, we can help in a different way. I think I can sneak into Starcrest Commune and destroy their research and study materials. That would at least slow down their research. At least long enough for the authorities to put a stop to it. Ah, solving it in a Ratonga's way through the shadows and under their noses. I like it. There's a sewer grate not far from here that you can use. Most people don't notice it, but I'll bet you can use it to go under the walls and into the commune unnoticed. Well, wish me luck then. I'll be back. Okay, so now we have to find this hidden sewer. Please be Great. quiet when inside this place. Oh, I'm just thinking out loud, buddy. You'll be fine. These mages are so touchy. Okay, the entrance to the instance is here. But I think it is over... Here. I knew it was over here somewhere. Here we go. We need to destroy the study materials that the portal guardians have. And then we have to look for some necromantic research inside the buildings. Uh, now, the guys we need are these, these portal guardians. Unfortunately, there's not an easy way to uh, to get past these ghastly knights, so we will have to take them down also. But on the good side, this building right here will have something for us inside. And there's two portal guardians out here, so that's going to work out perfectly. Okay, let's get the info. And we need four of these. So there's two in this building. Get those portal guards. We need to go down this way.
Didn't know we had collected quite so many mobs. I am almost dead. Oh god. Okay. We want to get into this building here, but I think we're on the wrong side of it. Which is unfortunate. Or at least grab the aggro. Oh, sweet! We'll take the chest. Got an upgrade. Fantastic. Okay, so we want to go down here. And in that door. We don't need him, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of him. I think he's probably going to follow us in anyway. Okay, and our last research is here. Now the trick is to get out, which if we backtrack, maybe nothing would have respawned. And we can go straight out. Looks like we're gonna get lucky. Please, be quiet when inside this place. You know, that guy makes more noise than anybody else. He needs to be assigned a different task. All right, I'm back. Hi there! How'd it go? Well, I think I've done all the damage I can do. Hopefully that slows them down a bit. I knew you would do it. You're making quite a name for yourself around here. And ultimately for all of us, Ratonga. In fact, the Council has taken notice of what you've done. They have? I was informed that none other than General Golius Sidwin wants to meet with you. He was here after your fight with the Necromancer and asked me to have you come and see him for a meeting. And no doubt to commend you for what you've done. Where can I find him at? He has an office on Erelosi Lane in South Kinos. I'll mark it on your map. Okay, thank you, Sippin. Be safe. Erelosi Lane, huh? That's pretty close to where we were before, I think, when we were working on the dwarf one. Ah, I see it on the map. Actually, it's not. The dwarf one was, I think, over there. We need to go up this way. Ah, right here. Doesn't he look at all important like? Hello, General. Hello. Ah, you must be Murphy. I've been waiting for you. I think... I have you to thank for the mess in the Concordium Tower, is that correct? Well, I, I suppose, although I'd hesitate to call it a mess, sir, I did what I had to in order to protect Kinos. Oh yes, I'm well aware of your noble intentions. It just seems odd to me, you see. The Ratonga come into the city, and the next thing we know there's necromancers not far behind. How are those things even related? The necromancers are getting their training from a pineal erudite. This has nothing to do with the Ratongas. Is that so? And how would you know that? Is it because the Ratonga are working with the necromancers? What? That doesn't even make any sense. I stopped them, sir. The Ratonga have long tried to help Kinos. Look, 
I have proof. And what proof is that? This book. It details the early activities of the Ratonga here in Kinos. We've long wanted to help and be accepted. In fact, this is where we came first. Oh, this book? <laughs> See, this is clearly a fake. Any school child can tell you that. These movements detailed in here, they're movements of the Kinos Guard during the rebuilding of Kinos. See here? This is where we drove back the Knolls of Blackborough, and this is where we stopped the Undead March. Well, uh, sir, uh, that book was written by Ratonga, who wanted to help protect the city. Those are the maps they made, detailing their plans and efforts to help. They died to protect the city. My family died to protect this city. My ancestors led those troops' movements. Kinos would have fallen if not for the efforts of the Sidwins. Enough of your lies. Arrest this Ratonga as a conspirator. This is very unjust. You can't do this. Oh, my God. It's the Queen. <laughs> Hold that order, Captain. Queen Antonia, Your Majesty. My Lady... This is an unexpected surprise. What brings you to my humble office? Well, I had heard that the individual responsible for stopping the attack on our tower was here, and I came to speak with them. We don't know that they weren't in league together, ma'am. Oh, we don't? Have you asked them? Well, of course, my lady. And of course they denied cover up and tried to cover up with lies. Oh, what lies, General? This book, for starters, uh, nothing but falsities. Clearly, there's an agenda here that we must be on the lookout for. All the Ratonga could be involved. General, in my dealings with Tilla, I have never felt anything aside from sincerity from her and those she represented. She came to me with a heartfelt plea for a home not to deceive me or the people of Kinos, and thus I allow the Ritonga refugees from Freeport to call our city home. From what I can tell, they're doing what they can to fit. Do you think I am so easily deceived, General? Oh, of course not. But the Ritonga have long been enemies of our city, as you well know. Trusting them now could be dangerous. Enemies of ours, Gallius? Or have we been enemies of theirs? What is this book you've got? Oh, it's nothing, my queen. Uh, the Ritonga had it. This is the likely forgery I was talking about. May I see it, please? Well, of course. Here. General Sidwin, have you read this? I thumb through it. There's nothing there that a school child, uh... This is an exact recounting of events that happened right as the city started to rebuild itself, is it not? These are events your family's credited with dealing with. Well, of course. And the Sidwins were there. We stopped the march of the undead through the Kinos Hills. We flanked the Blackborough Knolls who looked to overrun our farms. Well, I'm sure they did, General. How did you know about these events? Well, our scouts, I'm sure. Uh, we probably had the best Kenosian scouts at our disposal. Uh, yes, you did. Ratonga scouts. How, how? That would never... General, this book is very detailed. Tell me the truth, General. What has your family been hiding? Um, now, tell me. I'm sorry. You're right. This is a secret my family has held on to for generations. It's our pride and our shame. What I said was true. My family worked hard to protect Kinos. We sacrificed everything to help our city and did whatever we needed to do in order to keep her safe. 
The Rotonga came to the Kino's council seeking a haven. Didn't take long, but the council refused their pleas for acceptance, labeling them vermin and monsters. When the Rotonga were dismissed from Kino's, the Sidwins approached them with an idea. We offered them a voice with the king if they would act as our eyes and help us scout. They performed better than expected, better than our normal scouts could. The Sidwins, however, stalled in representing them to the king. Well, likely because he felt threatened by their natural prowess and didn't want to be shown up. Indeed, eventually they got out. The Sidwins thought the matter handled itself and quietly covered it up. The loyal Rotonga were killed protecting the city, and in the end no one stood up for them. We used their talent for political gain, and eventually were appointed a seat on the Circle of Five. And the rest is your family's legacy. The remaining Rotonga joined Lucan and Freeport, and they became our enemy. Indeed, my lady. But make no mistake, the Sidwins are heroes too. But make no mistake, the Sidwins are heroes too. Right now, you have a chance to offer repentance. The Ritonga are here to help our city. See to it that they are protected, and they're given a voice. Use your resources to let the citizens of our fair Kinos see the contributions the Ritonga can give to all of us. Help them now, as your family could have done so long ago. Thank you, my queen. Well, time will heal all, General Gallius. I'm pleased you will be staying. And for you, my stalwart Ritonga, return to Tilla. Let her know what has happened, and that I will send for her shortly. Thank you for all you have done for Kinos. Oh, how about that? Hi, there. I'm looking forward to hearing what happens. Well, <laughs> I've got quite the story for you, that's for sure. What happened? Did you figure out what the explosions was? I did, but in solving the issue I was nearly arrested. The Queen herself stepped in and stopped it, otherwise I might be sitting in a Kino cell right now. And Queen Antonia said she'd summon you to discuss what happened, so be ready. <laughs> I will. Thank you, Murphy, for all you've done. Well, I'm glad I could help. And there we go. So let's take a look at this ring. Ooh. We've got a cloud with some light. Oh, look at that. Some runes. I don't know what this means, but that is quite interesting. I like it. It's it's kind of a cool aura to have for a mage type. Maybe somebody knows what that is saying. If you do, put it in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, everybody. Please give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time where we're going to go ahead and do the Freeport side uh, and see what that one's about. It is very different. Looking forward to it. Take care all. Bye-bye now.